Hi everybody, my name is Snake Eyes BP1980 on the PlayStation 4 system and YouTube. Um, I'm doing a theory today. Um, something that's out of the ordinary that you guys don't even realize, but it just caught my attention uh, when I was playing Bounce. And yes, that is a game on the PlayStation 4 system. It might be on the uh, Xbox One system, but I want to go and mention two games including probably maybe bounce it might throw you in a loop but it's my theory it might be a loose theory but i want you guys to know it's just a theory it's not going to be a real thing or whatever it's just it just caught my attention and um i just wanted to let you guys know how much it really surprised me hold on i gotta okay So I want to direct your attention over here so that you can see what I'm talking about. So come over here and we'll see this. Now, as you can see, I have two clips up right now for Unfinished Swan. Now, over here on this video over here, we this is the very start of the whole video. So basically, I want to revert back, uh, start off going to this point right here and have you understand that within this there was you you get a story of a kid that's in the bed or whatever and it says something about the mother uh his mother and stuff like that and it just seems a little weird here i'll even blow this up so that you guys can see the full screen oh no wrong way So you can come back let's let's start back uh, back here where where I want to point out the um It does say in the video in the game itself here that um Okay the mother had always been much better uh, standing things when finishing them. And think about this. This this is the mother uh, and this. Uh, she, uh, when she died, she left behind her. And, and, and that's the point right there. Give me a moment. When she died, she left behind over 300 canvases. Not one of them is finished. Okay? Th but the thing is, it doesn't say anything about the father. It said something about the mother. Now, we're, we're, we're thinking of the, the fact that the, uh, that we're, the, the son who's in the next scene along with Moreau who felt pity, pity unfinished unfinished him himself so I mean th this is the story about the, uh, the, the, the son or whatever that we're literally trying to deal with and the whole aspect falls around him okay now, let's go ahead and pause that, and I'm going to uh, expand uh, expand this back. In the next, in my last, my unfinished Swan Part Two, you get to see the point where you are literally going somewhere. Okay. I 
Do not check it out. As Marod stood there, and I can't read the rest, of something to say, a sh statue shadowed, and the you know it just sh it's just saying something about the shadowy figures and stuff like that. And now that there's no more need of talk, the king was awakened. So basically, the unfinished uh, the unfinished swan happens to be that the mother had died, in the uh, the the concept of you know of the, letting this kid go on his merry way, and he's been throwing a lot of ink splats, and I think this is his tantrum or whatever to see what the world looked like in his world and stuff like that, and that's what the unfinished swan was all about, but. As my point of view prior to the unfinished swan, and I'm going to take this back to uh, basically allowing you guys to know that there are two concepts to the same story, but told in a totally different way. Now, come a little closer and you can see what I'm talking about. So, as I said before, you have the unfinished swan telling about a boy's life, but when you play bounds bound or whatever i call it bounce but sorry about that bound you could actually follow the daughter storyline and you could follow it by you know just looking at some of the video clips and like like this part right here you start off with a female coming out of a car and then you have control of the female majority of the time in the story now when you go into this whole new world or whatever, there I'll mute myself. Um, you would go to a different world, and the queen would be there. Now, the the whole concept is, is that yeah, this is a story about a a, a daughter. The, the the daughter of the two but they mentioned a son which was not mentioned in the un, uh, unfinished swan but I think what it is is that both of them had their own story leading to the same concept in this whole situation even though this is just a game theory I'm mixing games up and stuff like that now as you can see the, pr the the princess and the queen in the in this whole set setup. You got the princess here and the queen up here, and the mother uh, and the queen says princess. She goes yes, mother. She goes and turns her back on the thing and says the monster is destroying my kingdom. Go and stop him. Him? Who's him? But yet, when you actually get to the point where you get into knowing more and more about the characters and stuff like that, uh, like say, like in this this scene here, when I was going around looking at uh, trying to find out what was going to happen next and stuff like that, what scenery and everything is, you could see that the mother and father were having a feud against each other. But yet, the kids saw the whole thing. The boy and the and the and the daughter, the the boy and the and the sister, boy and girl saw this whole situation between the two parents got split, separated, and everything. And yet you come to a point in the game and bounce that daddy leaves the family with the boy and the girl with the mother. The father left completely. So 
And then, then we come into the final part of the game. Where you came a choice of you have a choice between the two situations in this uh, in this clip or uh, game here. You go approach the door, but you have two separate. Uh, you know, there's the father in the in the doorway. If you didn't see him, he's he's like right. <laughs> So, you come to this point here, and it's like, do you have a do you have a choice of ringing the doorbell or leaving? And I think the brother is the one that was inside the vehicle. I think the brother is the one that's inside the vehicle. So I chose to go with the father situation. Now, the whole concept about this is it's different. Now, now that you know what I, my point of view about the Unfinished Swan and Bounce being the same family, and the mother died, leaving both the brother and sister to be able to go and journey into a you know this whole new world or whatever uh, of their own and this referencing to a different game or whatever that may not have no way of tying to them but it's really weird that I could tie it in with this game here and it's just weird on on the situation now the concept of the game, uh, those two games was to get you to know the stories and stuff like that. I may be going into left field to grabbing this game out of the archives, but it's one of those type of things where I wanted to let you guys know that this is a, uh, a theory, not a, you know, whatever. It's not a real, you know, concept or whatever. I'm mixing things up. But I want you guys to know how much it, it really is much of a, you know, similarities that they can be. You have this boy who is looking for a father at the very end of the whole thing. And he found his father as much as uh, Bound did. And Bound was more of a female's point of view and telling the story. Why not? Why, you know... It is different, but if you look at them carefully, they could be the same per. Uh, this the boy, even though the boy may have darker hair in the bound, but do you, you not think that the boy might have a lighter hair uh, at the time or whatever, as much as his sister was almost close to being blonde? So I mean, I wouldn't, I wouldn't have doubted that that's the whole concept behind that, but. Another game I would uh, uh, throw in the mix is this one here, and it's because of the fact, I want to say, because of the fact of these two characters, the boy in Unfinished One and the uh, Bound, the female uh, of the story, let's put them together in a game that is not considered both of them. But it, it, it is referencing about a certain situation that both of them had in their own situation. Here, look at this. Now, if you guys don't know what the game is, my point of view is this, it, it, that they both took a same situation and they ran together. And I'm gonna mute myself again. I think that the, uh, the whole concept of story lies within the whole of uh, the you know the Santa Monica stories uh, are always telling you stories and stuff like that and as you can see that there uh, you know the game that I'm referencing to is journey and 
why why not reference journey in this whole thing uh snake eyes i heard that question before but let's just take this character as being the male or the female part of the the both stories of the unfinished swan or bound you take either one of their storylines and then later on if you actually do become lucky enough you can actually let's see here I'm gonna bring it up to right here that you could both they both tend to there's only allowing you to have two people within the game or whatever so that you can play as a co-op or team up and everything so I mean this is a game where it works together to tell a story as in one side was bound when the other side was unfinished swan coming together and their journey was separate but they both led to the same point of meeting up with the father or meeting up with some type of end to their journey to make it a, a complete circle so I'm I'm just referencing the idea of the whole games and stuff like that and I'm hoping that you guys understand that journey is a totally different game than you know unfinished want and bound but it's it's just thinking that the concept of both of them are actually can merge with this story and it could be different I mean think about the, all the concepts and different stories that we had so anyways that's that's my game theory for the moment and hopefully you guys you know play the games and see what you think about it and if you do or whatever played these and you've already done them please go ahead and leave the uh, leave a message down below in the description and letting me know if I'm almost close or if if you think I'm uh, that is correct uh, uh, thinking on that hopefully you guys enjoy the content please do come back and see me next time until then bye for now